Wherever Mike and Jules go on their charity walks, they also ask people to join the list of potential bone marrow donors. The donor drive involves cheek swabbing uh, people who are aged between 17 and 55, put them on the International Bone Marrow Donor Registry and give more people a fighting chance to find a match to live. So far, 151,000 people have signed up to the list and 3,500 life-saving matches have been made. One person who became a donor is Kevin Davis. A year after donating, he received a card from his recipient in Germany. Dear friendly saviour, with this card, I am thanking you for going through the trouble of saving my life. I am expecting my English to improve overnight and to get cravings for fish and chips. How did you feel? Oh, I felt... it's made me feel very different as a human being. I cannot beat this. I cannot beat this. I cannot do anything better in my life than save somebody's life. Now, one of the hospitals benefiting from Mike and Jules' charity work is Spati Gwyneth in Bangor. The Reverend Kate Botley has been enjoying a sing-along with the chaplain there, who's using his unique talents to help patients on the dementia ward. Dementia is a distressing illness. People who live with it find themselves trapped within a world of their own, while their loved ones and carers look helplessly on. Wynne Roberts, chaplain here at Bangor's biggest hospital, has found his patients love singing and it helps them to communicate with their loved ones. Take my hand, take my whole life too. They're living in difficult times, they're going through life with dementia. 
and so therefore what I find is that the music, especially the Elvis music in my case, it actually takes them back to their younger years, the teenagers again, they're in love again, they're singing all those songs which was a part of their history and their, and their memories. When you see the fact that they remember every word and that they come up and they sing with you, it, it's just, uh, it's sheer joy. It's not himself more than you have known. Godfrey, you've got an amazing voice. Oh, I know I have. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's how I was singing the choir. Yeah. It's like a light oh, comes on. Yeah. He, it all if he throws them for music, he'd sit in the chair oh, and sleep yes. all day. But the reality of it is, he will have forgotten all of this by the time we get home. And I understand there's a special motivation for you, a very personal reason why this is important. Yes, and it's because of my dear mum. She has dementia and she's in a very good nursing home. And one day I just felt so sorry for everybody there. And so I started learning my songs and I went in there to sing. Because I remember 50 years ago sitting with my mum, watching television, watching an Elvis film, singing those songs with her. And now I'm able to actually do it with her now, so that's precious. Shackled by the heavy burden. I believe very much that spirituality, particularly being a hospital chaplain, isn't just about going to church or singing a hymn. It's actually spirituality is far wider than that in people's lives. I love it. It's like God called you to be a priest and called you to be Elvis as well. Yes. That's like a double blessing, isn't it? I think it is. And, and when you actually find that people, when you do sing a song, which you don't think is a, a spiritual song but, uh, very often, those are the songs which actually give people peace, give people strength and give people hope. That's the wonder, the wonder of you. Do you love to sing? Yes, I do. Seeing him enjoying himself, that makes a difference. Yes. 